So why are we here? Well, of course, Jarena. We need a day off. Some sun and beautiful scenery of the ocean. Why are you so bothered by it? Are you worried about something? No. No, I'm not worried at all. <sighs> what gives you the thought of it? Because I just see that you don't look pleased. You know, the way of somebody's face look unamused and unhappy. That's all. No, I'm fine. And first of all, this gives me time to relax and I guess go to sleep or something. Hmm. You're sleeping? What's it to you? Sleeping. I don't think sleeping is the right thing to do during a vacation like this. I mean, you know, go swimming, take some pictures, indulge in some conversations with strangers or I don't know make a sand castle or read a book because I got a quite a few good books here no no I'm good just haven't been getting any sleep lately why's that oh it's just a lot on my mind lately oh would you mind sharing? Well, I don't think... I don't know. It's just... I don't want to put a burden on you and then put everything how, how I feel right now onto you. Uh, I mean, you said we're on a vacation. So I don't want to do that. No, I don't mind. Go ahead. Say what you have to say. I am all ears. <laughs> All right. Well, um, well, I've been getting these strange dreams lately. Um, basically, this woman, this woman with the blonde hair, red eyes, the color red of wine and blood, I should say. Hmm. And she would just stare at me and look at me and just say these words of I've been missing you or it's been a long time or some more other things. It's just the way she talked was just seductive, manipulative, scary, creepy. Well, it was like slow and smooth based on how I guess the scenario and the situation was and what they what kind of weird creature they were and right next to them was this man covered in gold and he was just with her I mean it, it almost looked like I don't know how to describe it, but it was just strange. Like, it felt like I know that person that was talking to me. You get what I'm saying? Hmm. Someone covered in gold. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, do you know what I'm talking about? No. But the dream sounds oddly weird, I can say. I'm not a doctor or a pro at this, but, I mean, if you haven't heard, dreams could be predicting the future. Dreams could be a communication device. And not only that, you probably have a wild imagination. Wait, what do you mean communication device? Well, I'm just saying, the dream world can also wait. Yeah, another one is prediction of the future or the past or whatever. But communication, what I mean by that is you can communicate 
or they will come to you and communicate with you, which are the spirits. Spirits? You gotta be kidding me. Spirits? Mm -hmm. Wish I was, but I'm not. I've heard so much about it. Ugh. Hey, I have a question. Hmm? How can you be so smart, but at the same time stupid? It, hey, yeah, listen, I read comics and I learn stuff from them, so back off. How about that? I learned so much from these comics, and these comics are helping me out with all this. And now I'm trying to hold a decent conversation and try to be smart like Bruno, okay? And I'm trying to also help you out and be a good friend as well, too. <laughs> well, you are being a wonderful friend for listening and trying to help me. And I appreciate that a lot. You do? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I'm happy that I helped you. Now I can prove to Fugo and... <laughs> Bruno, that I can be smart and helpful. <laughs> well, in that case, <sighs> I should be resting about now. In that case, wake me up when everything's over or when it's lunch. Okay. All right. <laughs>